Early this morning before the sun came up in Puerto Rico, we saw the third landfalling category four hurricane, and this had devastating effects in southeastern Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria barreled into Puerto Rico as one of the strongest hurricanes to ever hit the Caribbean. Puerto Rico is still rebounding from the last storm, Irma, which knocked out power to 70% of the island. Now all of Puerto Rico is without power. For all they've gone through, the resilience of the people of Puerto Rico is astonishing. And when they saw us show up as quickly as we did, with the help that they needed, they couldn't be any more appreciative uh, or any more gracious. Our mission was really this ready, shoot, aim mission. And we really didn't know what they needed, and, our, and PREPA wasn't prepared to even articulate. To be fair, I'm not sure they knew. Um, the, the scale of what happened to them. You know, I was glad that we had our folks on the ground assessing it at their, themselves, taking a look at it and supporting them to, to create that vision of what's going on. And it's at a scale I've never seen before. There's damage in San Juan, but it's not so bad. It's when you go into the mountains and then you, you enter these little towns and they have no power. And what you see is you see everybody helping each other out and they all have smiles on their face. They don't have power. In some cases, they can't even flush the toilet, but they're making life, you know, day to day, and they're finding happiness in, in the small things. And so we had to start treading kind of carefully. We had to be more observant of what they, had, they were dealing with. They, the, here, these people were the real champions. Really made me see what courage is. I like to think that, you know, people say, boy, you're courageous for going down there. I'm not the courageous one, these guys are, I think, in my eyes. We sent 20 of the best of the best of the power authority. I call them the MacGyvers of NIPA. These are the tinkerers, these are the fixers. Very proud of their work with PREPA and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They have really given tremendous amount of, of value, a lot of personal sacrifice to help uh, PREPA and the people of Puerto Rico. We got people from all over NIPA, you know, Niagara, St. Lawrence, the Cine area, White Plains, and um, this isn't just a bunch of young guys volunteering, there's a lot of veteran people volunteering. We're here for something that's bigger. It's humanitarian, it's aid. We become family and, and very close with the guides that, you know, and the people from PREPA that we're working with. They need us and they're so thankful for it. We're here, you know, inspecting a substation and uh, we hear kids singing out of nowhere and hear them trying to practice their English. And we look over and there's a Head Start program. The window's open. It was hot. It was, it was probably, it, I know it was 90 outside. It had to have been 110, 100, you know, 100 degrees at least inside. So once we did our substation inspection, we said, you know, we're going over there. And we went over, banged on the door, busted out some water, uh, busted out all the candy we had, the little kids come running out. It was uh, for everything we have back home and how uh, grateful we are with NIPA. It was, uh, it, that kind of stuff is something.